dark and a pink and another dark. Want the church open for Easter? What's your opinion on that? Um, here is here is my opinion on that. Brace yourself, guys. Are you guys ready for this? I know. Whenever I give my opinion, some of you guys are like, here's my opinion. I have extreme faith. I think anybody that knows me knows that I have extreme faith. I don't just have faith of a mustard seed. I have, like, faith of an oak tree. I, I know my God. I know what my God can do. I know who he is. And, um, and I... 100% wholeheartedly trust him. If God told me today, Carrie, I want you to walk up into this hospital in New York City. I want you to walk down this hallway where all these COVID-19 people are. I want you to leave your gloves and mask to the side. I want you to go right into that church, that, uh, that hospital. I want you to lay hands on these people and I want you to tell them to get up. I would do it without question like that. No, no, no hesitation at all. If God put it on my heart, if God spoke it to me, if I heard that still voice, if I knew that's what he wanted me to do, I would walk straight up in there. I would lay hands on every last one of them. And I would fully, 100%, wholeheartedly expect and know that they were going to be healed instantly in that minute, pulling their ventilators out, walking out of that hospital. No doubt in my mind. And 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 I stand by that. So if, if God ever tells me that, I'm telling you right now, I will do it. Having said that, Having said that, my opinion on churches gathering and collecting and getting together for Easter Sunday. I think that there are safe ways to do it as far as like drive through churches if you abide by the rules. Um, I think there are different things that you can do uh, to see each other face to face without giving hugs and things like that. Okay. I think that there are ways to do that. As far as opening the church doors and telling everybody, come on in, we're going to have Easter Sunday. If God tells you to do so, I think you have to do it. Having said that, I believe that if God speaks to one person, he's going to speak to each person. Okay, so I don't think that anybody who's truly a follower of Christ will hear the message. Let me give you an example. March 15th, the Lord told me to anoint all my doorways and all my windows and my family with anointing oil to pray over them. And um, and I did. And to declare my home holy ground. Some of you guys watch Love and Serve Ministries. You heard me say it. I, I said it clear as day. Go home, anoint your doorways and your windows and declare your home holy ground. You guys heard me say it, those of you who watch the church services. Yesterday and the day before, I saw people saying, my friend called me. In fact, I, I can prove it. <laughs> My friend called me. It was urgent. And she said, go hurry up and anoint your doorways and your windows. That, that you're supposed to anoint them with oil and you're supposed to pray. Um, and, and I saw other people saying the same message. The Lord spoke to me. Other people who are listening to the voice of the Lord are hearing the same message. Anoint your doorways. Anoint, anoint your, your, your families. Anoint your um, windows and pray over your families. Declare your place holy ground. Okay, so uh, I want to say it was a week or two ago. Somebody have to check my somebody's gonna have to check my face my personal Facebook because I posted it as soon as God told me. The Lord told me that that there is a tidal wave of praise that is going to crush the enemy and start a revival like never seen before. Guys, I've been hearing left and right on Facebook now ever since I posted that. I've been seeing other people who I don't even know that somebody is sharing from like India or something saying God's saying there's. A wave of praise coming and and there's gonna be revival like never before when God tells you he will tell other people as well who are listening who 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 are his people and so I believe that if if God wants us to open the church doors and let the congregation come in and praise and worship him in person standing side by side that he will not just tell that one pastor but he will tell other pastors who have their ears on. Now keep keep in mind, not everybody who's serving the Lord as in the in the position of pastor or minister, or priest or whatever is actually walking and listening for God. But believe me, there will be a large number of them who are listening and do hear him and you'll see multiple people saying the Lord told me to put it 
to, to open the doors and bring people in. The word of God tells me that I am to listen and obey the people who God appoints in positions of authority over me, my government officials. It also tells me that I'm not to be a fool. And so, unless God tells me personally that I'm to do something different than what I know I'm supposed to be doing, you will not see me budge. As of right now, I feel like my instructions are to stay in my home, follow the, the um, authorities' advice that they're giving me right this minute in government. They're not asking me to sin. Now, now that there is an exception to that. You don't listen to them if they're asking you to go against God or to sin. But right now, what they're telling me, God put them in their positions for a time such as this. Whether you like them or you don't like them, it doesn't matter. These people went to school. These people, um, God started this journey to bring them to this moment with the knowledge that they have so that they could handle this in this moment for a time such as this. He didn't call me to go to school to learn about uh, learn about some of the things that they're learning about, right? You know, that they know. They have more wisdom than I do in this area. And so I know that my God appointed them for a time such as this because his word tells me to. That's what it, it tells me. It tells me that he appointed them for this. Whether I like them or not, it's irrelevant. They're in their position because God put them there. My job as a follower of Christ, my job as, as, as a believer in God is to believe what his word says, and that is to listen to what they're telling me, which is to stay home and not to open my church doors right this minute. Now, that could change, right? That could change. But I think, and God spoke to me just the other day, too many people have been going to church connected to the church instead of being connected to Christ. You hear what I'm saying? Too many people are wrapped up in religion and religious practices and the building and the gathering and this and that, and they miss the part where we are the church and that we as the church should be connected to Christ. Not the church that we go to, but we should be connected to Christ. And so it's important that that we we know that we can gather the bible says don't don't not gather right it says don't not gather it says don't cease gathering we haven't stopped gathering we're gathering we have 400 people right here in this room right this minute i may be sitting in a room completely by myself there's not a single soul in here except for maybe a mouse or a snake because it's that type of season and i haven't seen them yet so hopefully they're not in here there's not another person in this room with me right this minute and yet I have 400 people right here in this room with me we are gathered together we haven't stopped gathering we just aren't in the same building but guys how many y'all know that I've heard pastors that have said but we have to have the laying on of hands we need to be putting our hands on people and praying over them guys I 100% believe that I believe that we need to be laying hands on people and watching them be healed but what I also know is that my hand isn't what's healing that person you can be right in front of me and I can put my hand on you and I can pray for you and I can watch you be healed in the name of Jesus or I can see you on a computer screen and I can pray over you and lay my hands on you supernaturally and how many y'all know that my God is not confined to this room? That the person that's going to heal you, the power that's coming from this hand is not have anything to do with me but the power that comes through the blood of Jesus and it can heal you right where you're at, right where we gather, regardless of if I can physically touch you or not and I think a lot of our our ministry leadership has forgotten that that the power isn't in our hands that God flows through us and that he uses us as an instrument to deliver what he has for somebody but we can deliver that supernaturally through computer screens we can lay our hands on a picture I lay my hand on the picture of Samuel every day on my refrigerator Lord bless his little heart life Lord keep him whole keep him safe keep him healthy do you know that my prayers are just the same as if he was standing before me and I laid my hands on him right here because it's not about me and my hand, but God in his hand and his hand can reach you wherever you are. And so I think it's important that our ministry leaders don't lose sight of what who God is, that we don't unplug from God, that we unplug from the building because that building, it'll rot and it'll, it'll fall away. But God and his word and him, it'll never, it'll never fail. And so we, this is a, a teaching moment 
within the church because we are the church and we need to unplug. We need to unplug from the building and plug into Christ. And when we do that, you're darn tooting that we're going to see prophecy come to pass, that we're going to see a tidal wave of praise come crashing down, that it's going to trample on the enemy, and that we're going to see revival like we've never seen before because people, instead of connecting to each other in a building, will finally, once and for all, be connected to Christ, where their focus and their attention and their plugging into should have already always been. And so, yeah, we're going to see revival, folks. But we're not going to see it Easter Sunday when people foolishly open their church doors and risk people without God ordaining it. Guys, what, are, God, what God ordains, he will sustain. But if he doesn't, we can't do anything in our own power. Nothing. And so when we go out on our own power and we follow religious practices and we follow things that are dangerous, that, that we step outside of the covering of God, we're playing in dangerous territory. And so take heed, ministers, if you were thinking about opening your your doors on Sunday, unless you have heard directly from God and you are certain and you have tested the spirit and made sure that that is exactly, you've waited for confirmation, you know that you know that you know, don't do it because it is a trick, a temptation of the enemy.